Put a walk into stripes. And the, the, the young kid says, hey, mind your own business, as he was stealing sodas. Brian Taylor and his work crew were at this Stripes on Everhart and Grand Junction, picking up coffee and getting ready for the day. I live a block away, and I come here every morning for the last eight years, every single morning. But on this day, Brian never expected he'd come so close to encountering a brush with death. They wanted to shoot somebody today. Still visibly shaken, Brian shared what happened after he went inside the store. We go inside. And another guy opens the door. Hey, are you talking bad to my buddy? No, man, I said, leave me alone. He comes, opens the door again. Hey, come outside and we'll take care of this. I said, I said hold on a minute, we'll take care of this. Brian says he paid for his coffee and reluctantly stepped outside, not knowing what was waiting for him and the dozens of people who were filling up their vehicles. We come outside and he runs across the street and just sh starts shooting into public. 30 people, 30 people, everybody. You were telling me about a pregnant woman. The pregnant woman was pumping gas, and all she could do was take cover because they started shooting. It's not fair. While most took cover behind gas pumps and pillars, Brian says he got as far as the red box dispenser and waited for the shooting to stop. But then there was another encounter with the thugs. And as they were running with a gun in hand, my son pulls out of the apartments right in front of them. So it could have been bad either way. According to police, this incident isn't the only one the three teens may have been involved with. They're suspected of being involved in a beer run at a Stripes on Yorktown, as well as several auto burglaries off Snow Goose, where a handgun was taken out of one of the vehicles. In the meantime, Brian Taylor and the dozens of people who were subjected to this cowardly act of random violence wonder where the parents of these teens were when they were out committing crimes. But you know what? If the law don't get them, God will. And we're back out here live at the corner of Grand Junction and Everhart. I'm told by police that they've got so much evidence on these three kids. They've got bullet casings. They've got video that was captured from cameras all over the area. They see their faces clearly. So it's just a matter of time when these kids are arrested. And when they are, they will be facing charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Very serious charges. Joe, back to you. Okay, Rudy, thanks for